Well, it's launch week 2024 for Bear Archery and Bowhunter Planet has the bows for you guys. Today, we're gonna start off these videos with the new Persist from Bear Archery. This is gonna be their top dog of the year. Uh, we're gonna check that out and then we have a whole bunch more tags here with other bows behind us that we're going to show you as well. So make sure you stick around for all of that this week and all these great videos coming out. Also, thank you to the following companies that help keep this show going and support what we do here at Bowhunter Planet. Also, before we get started, make sure you guys check out the Archery Repair Kit that we launched this year. Help keep yourself in the field longer with having the ability to fix your bow in the field. The Archery Repair Kit gives you all the tools you need to keep going in your hunt and uh, get you through before you need to go back to a pro shop. All right, so we're talking the Persist. This is gonna be Bear Archery's top dog for the year. As you can see, it's a new riser, new look riser. It's still gonna feature the Grizz Grip. They put in a rubberized shelf here, so it's actually nice, because if your arrow was to come off and hit anything, you're just not gonna get any sound. You'll have to add anything extra, external to that. They added all the uh, IMS type systems, the inline type systems, where they put in the piece for your um, sight. Uh, and then they, along with this, they launched Trophy Ridge products that will actually have those pieces. So they got your sight mount. They also have the new IMS system on the back for the QAD or now Trophy Ridge also has that IMS capability uh, to attach it right here on this Picatinny system. They added these different internal type loops. So here you have a wrist sling that's built into the riser, kind of cool. But another cool thing they did is they put in this top piece here to pull up. It's like a pull up rope system built in. You can just attach to this string here, this rope, it's real heavy duty, and pull your bow up and down the tree very simply, quietly, don't have anything extra you have to bring with you, just gotta bring your pull up rope, connect it and go up. Very simple operation here compared to other things I've done where tying it around and different types of things. Uh, they still feature all the killer wave systems in the bow. Uh, this is their wide limb, wide stance type bow, as you can see, compared to their other bows. Completely different limb here. Uh, this bow does have the EKO cam, so we know we're gonna get some power and precision with this cam. Uh, a lot of flexibility, a lot of adjustability in this cam, pretty cool. They added a new string stop look. As you can see here, this is something different we haven't seen before. They still have a built-in level inside the bow. The cable rod system is completely adjustable. I mean, there's a lot of adjustability on this system. When you look at it in detail, you're really kind of blown away. Um, it looks great. The new riser look has an excellent appeal to it, in my opinion. Built-in suppression right on the bow here on both top and bottom. Uh, they got the bar for the back bar. They have a hole here if you want to put a back bar in. Um, Grizz grip on this one, so it's got that really nice ergonomic grip to it. All around guys, I like to look at this bow. I would say it looks very, very good. Um, it does come in a little bit heavy on the weight scale though. I did weigh the bow. It's just close to about five pounds, so definitely a little heavier, but they do have components on the bow that are gonna add that weight. So again, adding a little bit heavier duty cable rod system. They have these bigger pockets compared to their other models. They built in these ropes here that don't come off. So technically you're gonna have this built in, so that's gonna add to your weight uh, overall. So in looking at the specs of this bow, uh, the Persist is a 31 inch axle axle bow, 6.5 inch brace height it is available in a 45 to 60 pound or 55 to 70 pound configuration. 26 to 30 inch draw length, speeds of up to 340 feet per second. This one, because that EKO can, you'll have let off adjustability options from 75, 80, 85, and 90 percent. Uh, again, this is you know what Bear brings to the table in the premium market. So this is a sweet looking bow and it takes advantage of all the great technology that Bear has to offer this year. All right guys, we are speed testing the new Persist from Bear Archery 2024. This bow is set at 2970, so let's go ahead and give it a shot and see how it does. Okay, first arrow, 350 grains. 329 feet per second. 450 grains. 286 feet per second. 550 grains. 263 feet per second. 650 grains. 243 feet per second. I love shooting this bow because of the Grizz Grip. Honestly, it just has that really nice feel to it. When you get it back, it actually, it's got a little bit of grippiness to it, so your, your palm actually fits right into it. It almost like slides right into it, uh, and it feels so nice when you pull this bow back. 
This bow is a very powerful bow. I can tell it's got a lot of power. The EKO cam does just that. It gives it that push power forward. I do think it's a great bow and I think it's a great contender uh, for 2024. So I'm really excited that Bear did this bow. I love what I see here. I think the design is excellent. Um, I'm gonna keep shooting it because I think it's a lot of fun to shoot, to be honest. It's, it's, it's a powerhouse and you can tell when it comes back how much power it has. You see that, it, like it pulls in, right? And then if you're a bear archery lover or somebody who's interested in getting a little bit more expensive bear archery product, definitely check out the Persist this year as you guys get going. Make sure you stick around. We got a ton of other bear archery videos behind me here. We're about to launch as well. So until uh, next time, check out bear archery's website and check out the Persist at your local shop right now. We'll see you next time.